Hey guys, Mitch here from Rangeland RV. You might remember me from such films as Hot Deals or Big Mitch P or even the world's most interesting RVer. And I am standing here with my sidekick, Ty the RV guy. And we are standing in front of the all new Sierra 3330BH. Tell them what this floor plan features, Ty. Yeah, guys, this is a beautiful floor plan through, through Sierra. What you're gonna see, of course, is a front bedroom. It's got a beautiful mid-living area and a massive bunkhouse in the back. And one of the best features that you gain out of this floor plan is two full bathrooms. Now, this is the C-Class version. Yeah, right? so with Sierra's, yeah, with Sierra's new addition to C-Class, now what they've done is they've brought in this to give you a bunch of different features all together at a much more attractive price point. It's the best trailer on the market that you can get into for this particular type of style and value. Absolutely. So we're going to take you through some uh, construction and some specs on this coach here. So the Sierra is built with a aluminum framed, block foam insulated, vacuum bonded wall. Um, they do still carry some of the best insulation values in the industry. What else do they have, have to offer, Ty? Yeah, some of the big construction points that we love to talk about with Sierra and what they just introduced this year is the actual full enclosed armor belly, which is, I think it's called a road armor road armor armor. belly. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. So it's a full enclosed underbelly with plastic um, uh, panels underneath there. And the best part about that, it's a lot stronger than just the um, plastic cardboard stuff you may have seen before. Plus it's in sections. So if you ever have to get a technician underneath there to work on anything you can just simply access wherever spots that you need absolutely so why don't we take them through some exterior features yeah here follow up to the front here we'll start talking about some exterior features so first thing that you'll notice at the very front of the trailer is of course you have a beautiful fiberglass front cap this is a full painted fiberglass cap too they have some really nice blue lighting in here to really clean up the look and then of course underneath you're going to have your rhino box pin yeah. this is a beautiful pin system because it actually narrows it out making it a little bit easier for you to kind of jackknife that trailer around for you too mm -hmm. what are some other cool features on this coach well let's take them uh, around back we'll go over so the one thing that everybody loves is the one touch auto level from the touch of one button, it is going to level your trailer for you nice and easy and make sure that you're nice and set at your campsite. Um, the biggest advantage of having a fifth wheel, if you haven't already moved into the fifth wheel category, you get that full pass through storage. I'll let you zoom in there just to take a look. So you can put all of your lawn chairs, all your additional stuff that you do want to carry with you to the campsite. There's tons of storage room. Yeah, another great thing to talk about too when we're on the topic of storage compartments here, like you can see they have a nice thick insulated door on this trailer, plus what they've also done is added the metal slam latches to here too. So these are actually deadbolt uh, keys that they've used for these slam latches also, so you're not worried about folks getting into your storage compartments with those little 751 keys you may have seen that everybody that owns a trailer has, right? Yeah. So it's a lot more secure that way too. Another great feature that you'll notice on the outside here while we're standing next to it is Sierra uses a 10 gallon quick recovery hot water tank. Yeah. So this is great because of course, generally what you would see is a standard six gallon. This is obviously giving you an extra four gallons to the trailer. So it's much, much larger. Um, like you can see, there's obviously a switch down here so you can kick it into that electricity mode or of course just burn it off a of propane. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. A couple of other things too that we love to talk about being that this is a true vacuum bonded coach. You're going to see that throughout the entire trailer, even into your slide out walls here. So like Mitch will demonstrate, if you push on that slide out wall for you, it's nice and solid. You're not seeing that popping or flexing. And then even talking about that one touch control, super cool. You got that electric four point auto level and everything there. So yep. you're easily set up in that campsite. Inside the pass through storage, and I don't know if you might have seen it when uh, we zoomed in on it, you do have a battery disconnect. Main advantage of that is you're not going to have to disconnect your positive negative off your battery every time you go to store it. You can literally turn on the battery disconnect. It's going to kill all the power going to the unit. You're not going to drain your batteries the next time you go out to pick it up. Absolutely. Pick it out. Here guys, follow us around the front here and we'll start talking about some other really cool features. So again, first you're going to notice you have this massive big power awning throughout the trailer. And then what Sierra has also done is just underneath that, you can notice there's a camera uh, spot for a pre-wire there. What you can add to these C-classes is that full backup camera. You can have the side view cameras on here and even the over the top the door camera because this is actually also set up to give you that security system if you have this permanently parked at one of your campsites. Yeah, yeah. they do feature the, um, the more ride solid steps as well. So nice and easy to set up, put down. This year they added a new feature. It used to be, if you're familiar with this product, it used to be a pin that you pop out to adjust. Now it's just with the push, 
of uh, right there you can adjust your legs and you can get it nice and even for your campsite for that uneven ground. Um, working our way here to the back of the trailer you're going to notice right here they do a really nice job cleaning everything up. They light up those marine grade outdoor speakers. That's why it's your Bluetooth stereo system which we'll get to once we go into coach. And then this one does feature an outside fridge. It is a uh, step up. It's a bigger fridge. So you definitely have a lot more room to put all of your snacks, your beverages, everything to keep it cold there. Now the, uh, we're going to work our way again to the back. Yeah, absolutely. And as we start working our way to the back here, one thing to point out is this is your bathroom entrance. So you have a main entrance to the trailer and of course a secondary entrance to the bathroom, which is very popular nowadays. Everyone's looking for something like that, especially in a bunkhouse trailer. So now the kids don't have to come running through the entire trailer just to go use the bathroom. Absolutely. Another thing to note too with this entrance is you have a secondary more ride step coming in here. Yeah. Lots of times you only have that pull out step, which is always a pain in the butt. They always get full of gravel, start yeah. to rust out and they're really hard to use. Let's go over to the back side now. We'll have a couple of look. We'll have a look at a couple of options there, or features, I should say. Because what you'll notice underneath the bottom is you have this really nice. Oh, jeez! <laughs> As we come through here, you'll have these. Uh, you'll have a really nice gas connection for your swing around barbecue here, and then of course your spare tire is mounted on the back bumper too, and you'll even have a ladder to get up onto your roof. Yeah, so that you can check your yearly maintenance, check your seals, make sure that everything's good, nothing's been compromised. Absolutely. Right? Yeah, another little detail to point out before we head inside on this trailer is you have all LED lighting around here too, so you're not looking at any of those incandescent bulbs burning out over the years of use, so mm -hmm. it definitely makes things a lot more convenient. Let's take them inside, Mitch. Absolutely. <clears throat> So one thing I want to touch on, and I don't know if you went over it earlier, Ty, for the folks at home, is this trailer is 36 feet from kingpin to bumper. Yeah. Or just, yeah, just shy of over 36 feet from kingpin to bumper. And it comes in at about just over 10,000 pounds dry weight. So, absolutely. Um, you know, with that vacuum bonded material and the block foam insulation, it keeps it nice and light. Mm -hmm, absolutely. All right, let's take them in. So first thing you notice guys when you're coming inside the Sierra here, right beside the door you have what is called the LCI One Control. This is a really, really cool system because you can absolutely run everything through your trailer right off of this control panel. Um, so for an example, your auto leveling can be operated in here, your slide outs, your lights and everything like that. Another thing to mention while we're looking at the panels here, we did talk briefly about that underbelly. But what you get out of something like this is an Arctic package through Sierra. Yeah. And that gives you 12 volt heat pads on all your tanks. They even duck the air down into the underbelly so it keeps things nice and warm for you too. Yeah. But come on in here. I'll let Mitch tell you a little bit more about this main area of your of your fifth wheel here. So the main area here is nice and open. There's tons of seating. If you guys are the type that like to entertain and you do have a lot of people in here, there is definitely a lot of place to sit. You do have a dinette, a spacious dinette here uh, right by a huge window. All of these windows as you see in the slide. So you're getting four windows inside. That's going to let in a lot of natural light. It's going to brighten this thing up beautifully. Yeah, you get a um, beautiful panoramic view in there for sure. Absolutely. You do have a nice couch here with a... Um, yeah, I think that's, that's a, a trifold, trifold sofa, sofa, yeah. Right? So, you know, these guys will come off. Let's demonstrate it. Yeah, why not? Well, right? It's a super simple system, guys. All you do is you obviously remove the cushions here, like so. It's very easy. And Mitch will grab the bottom of the sofa there and show you how it pops out. Now the one thing I was going to touch on, Ty, is that a lot of people over, you know, the, uh, over the years have always said that these guys are a pain in the butt to fold out, that they're super uncomfortable, that you can f feel the springs in their back when people sleep on them. That is not the case anymore. They've upped it with a huge, um, with a two and a half inch uh, foam on here. So it's nice and soft. They're going to get, your guests are going to get a good night's sleep. They're not going to feel like, you know, that they're, they're camping on the old cot that's breaking their backs. No kidding. Absolutely. Right. I've even so, seen a lot of people, you know, they can bring an air mattress with them too, lay that out over top of something like yeah. this. So you can just add, 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 sorry, even more extra cushion to that sleep. And just as simple as that, she folds right back down. It's pretty much effortless. 
Yeah, so while Mitch is folding up the couch here, I will, uh, I'll tell you guys a little bit more about this kitchen. So one of the really nice fit and finish features that you do see throughout the Sierra product line is everything in, when it comes to drawers and cabinets, um, it, they're all soft close. So for an example, if I open up this cabinet here, I can simply slam the door. It's not gonna slam on you either. Same thing when you start looking at drawers inside their trailers, it's the same thing. Nice, yeah, nice smooth close. drawers. You have full ball bearing extension drawer glides. You're gonna have solid plywood on the inside here, solid backing. The other major thing too is you're gonna see there is no hinges. It all has hidden hinges. Exactly. Right? Yeah. As you work your way through the kitchen here, you have a beautiful 22 inch glass door oven with the three burner uh, cooktop on there. And then of course, you'll have the nice tempered glass cover here with a good backsplash for you too. You know, you're maximizing that counter space with this tempered glass cover also. And then of course, you look at the countertop in here. This is something where you still have that seamless pressed membrane, so you're not worried about that T-mold separating on you over the years of use. Tell me a little bit more about this kitchen. Absolutely, so Sierra does a great job with bringing the comforts of your home right to the campsite. You're gonna feel nice in that home. Not only is there tons of countertop space, prep space to work and, and uh, make food, they do give you a undermounted stainless steel barn style sink, so you can put a, a, a full pot in there, you can wash it properly. They do give you the drop down faucet as well, so you know they're bringing a lot of luxury right to the campsite so you don't have to worry about it and then just the fine details is not only are they using solid wood cabinetry but they're putting glass inserts you know and a yeah. price point of this i mean this is usually uh, you know you're jumping over 20 grand to get this type of stuff in, absolutely in this type of floor plan and model right and yeah of a fifth wheel mm -hmm. so the big thing with the with the sierra c class and why they released it into our industry now is you guys are getting into something now where you're into a luxury category fifth wheel at an affordable price point. That is the biggest thing here with the C-Class style. Like for an example, you still have residential microwave in here like you might have at home. If we look beside us here, you have this massive 20 cubic foot fridge. And this is a gorgeous fridge on the inside here. Of course, it's obviously French doors on either side. Nice and deep there, right to the back. Yeah, Ooh. sure. Wow. Right like that there. And then of course you got the big pull out freezer on the bottom here too, which has got a couple of drawers in it for you too. So there's tons of space in here. Yeah. And then I'm just going to take you over here if you want to flip over. Um, this is your entertainment section, right? So they do give you a sound system with a built-in DVD player. Um, I know like my kids, they love, they still love watching the DVDs when we're out camping, right? So you can put the DVD in there. It's going to play through the speakers as well, through the speakers uh, inside the coach. And then they do give you this beautiful fireplace. It's not just for ambiance. On those cold spring days, this baby can heat up 400 cubic square feet in under 15 minutes. It runs off electricity, but it, you know, on a spring day, you can almost heat the whole entire trailer just on the electricity you're not burning through a, a whole bunch of propane they give you an additional um you know uh storage so that if you, can, you want to put a dvds up here all yeah. the additional stuff right and then they give you a large uh area for a big tv so that if you guys do want to watch a movie you can definitely uh sit back enjoy it you can see the tv absolutely yeah. so that pretty much wraps up the main area here guys follow me back into this beautiful bunk room yes this is the thing i love if you have kids this is the perfect floor plan for you as well absolutely so first thing you'll notice which is really cool in here is there's a big ladder behind me and Mitch there's mm -hmm. actually a loft inside this bunk room mm -hmm. so the kids can climb up in there it's kind of cool it's like a little tree house in your in your trailer for you you'll also have a couch here which easily breaks down into a bed for you and then up above there you also have a flip down bunk and it's nice how they put a couch in here because show them time. yeah it's a very simple system you just grab the latch here pops down into place there's even a window in behind there for you too mm -hmm. uh, you, you also have the teddy bear mattress so of course it's nice and warm and comfortable yeah. for the kids and then right across from that you'll have a nice tv stand here so again you can plant another tv in here more storage up above Tons of storage there's actually a right. beautiful hanging closet up there a lot of my clients you know they tell me mitch you know our bunk room it's it's definitely spacious but where do we put our kids stuff you know my kids are coming in throwing their knapsacks everywhere everything is yeah. you know it's a mess back here they do give you quite a bit of drawer space for your kids to put their clothes in right and these are actually pretty deep they're about a half an arm's length so there's lots of room in there absolutely the other thing i wanted to hone on in really quickly too is not only this uh, does this jackknife sofa fold down right down here they do give you the option with two plugins plus two usb ports you know if you're like my kids my kids like to you know for quiet time they like to 
quiet down on an iPad. They can plug it in. It's not going to lose its charge. They can charge it right there while they're laying down on the couch. Absolutely. So, and then I'll let you guys take a look up there at that loft. It's it's a quite a spacious loft. Um, you know, even an adult could sleep up there comfortably. Absolutely. Right. Yeah, for, for sure. Wise. So. And then of course, right hooked on to the uh, the bunk room here. As you can see, Mitch is walking in there. I'll let you guys follow him in. You have a nice secondary bathroom, and that's the big thing that we talked about with this floor plan is you have a dual full bathroom setup so there is a sink toilet and shower in here when you're getting into this type of category as well um it's not very often that you actually see two full baths yeah a lot of the time you're only getting a half bath back here mm -hmm. so if your kids are at that age where they want their own privacy they want to take a shower you know you can they can have their own shower back mm -hmm. here they're not interrupting and you're not having to share and it's got a tub too bathrooms. yeah Right, if you have young kids as well and you want to bathe them before bedtime, there you go. Yeah. You know, they can go to the bathroom in the middle of the night. They're not going to trip and have to stumble through the rest of the trailer. So, I'm, and then I'm going to flip you guys around behind me. If you look here too, I mean, they don't they don't cheap out where it counts. You're getting the full porcelain toilets as well. Um, you know, yeah, the so, fit and finish is there for sure. Absolutely. absolutely. Cool. Here, yeah. so follow us up front now, guys. We'll uh, we'll have a look at the uh, the main master bathroom there, and then of course your master bedroom too. Yeah. <clears throat> So here, come on in, we'll have a look at the bedroom first and then we'll jump into the bathroom. So first thing you're noticing walking into this bedroom, again, lots of overhead cabinets. I love how they've actually sunk this mattress into the back here, giving yeah. you some reading lights. And then of course they didn't take away from the actual uh, nightstands on either side, which sometimes you do see. Absolutely, the, the cabinets usually, and a lot of comparables in the market are going right down here. Exactly, you, right. Know, if you're an old, you know, if you sleep with a CPAP machine or something like that, you have nowhere to put it. I mean, if you have a phone or something like that, which everybody does you got a yeah. place to charge it now too because they Absolutely. give you two usbs on either side and yeah. plugins and then of course underneath this bed too you're not missing out on any storage this guy's going to pop up it's assisted with the gas struts for you there too yeah. so it's nice and easy <clears throat> and then of course you got a really nice foam mattress in here too yeah. i think this is actually a tempur-pedic foam it is. Yeah. yeah it's beautiful so Mitch, tell them a little bit about this little slide out here too. So, you know, a lot of people are all, always have told me too, like, you know, we have to pick and choose which clothes we're gonna bring. You know, when they add these wardrobe slides, they definitely give you um, a lot more space to bring a lot more clothes. So yeah. you don't have to worry about leaving your favorite warm jacket for the sacrifice of maybe bringing a couple extra tank tops, right? You no know, kidding. You can bring everything uh, with you. And then they do give you four spacious drawers as well. Yeah, I love how they do the drawers in there. Lots of times you just have that hanging wardrobe. Yeah. So it's nice to have that place where maybe you want to roll up some shirts right. or some socks or whatever it may be. And these drawers are also made with uh, solid plywood. It's not chipboard. So there's no, they're, they're not cheap and out. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Um, let's bring you into the bathroom here if you want to come through here, Ty. So the other thing too, you can see, I mean, I'm six foot eight and I have no problem. I'm, just <laughs> I'm six feet and you know, I'm, I have wider shoulders and I have no problem moving around in here. Um, a lot of people say, you know, my shower just becomes a broom closet or it becomes storage. Exactly. You know, you're going to actually be able to use this for a shower purpose. Now, Ty, do not move. What is that above your head? I think that's a fantastic fan, Mitch. Oh, uh, it's, 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 it's pretty close, it's pretty actually. pretty close. Yeah. Lucky. I don't think that one's going to quite suck you through the ceiling. No. But it is going to do the job. Yeah, it's, uh, guys, what you have here, again, is that nice high-powered fan. So something like this, of course, you can simply kick on. You're going to be able to vent all that moisture out of here when you're showering. Or, of course, if you're using the washroom, you got a way to vent that smell out, too. So, yeah, absolutely. Um, Look at the size of that mirror. Yeah, you know, How often do you see that? Yeah, huge mirror inside of here too. Again, you're going to have that seamless press top here. Nice deep sink so you can actually get your hands in here. A lot of them are really shallow and hard to use. And then, of course, porcelain toilet again in here. So mm -hmm. you're not losing out on that finish, uh, fit and finish that you get out of the Sierra C-Class. And yeah. keep in mind, guys, you got to remember the price point on this particular fifth wheel is second to none. Mm -hmm. So all of the options and features and quality of construction you get out of here, it's amazing value. I, I know a ton of comparables that... Don't don't even offer half the fit and finish or the, the additional add-ons in this, in this Absol price category. Absolutely. So for the price point and for in this category, it is amazing. You're getting so much bang for your buck. Oh, for sure. Follow us out into the main area here, guys, and we'll finish up. So 
So that pretty much wraps up this Sierra fifth wheel today. You know, we're so glad to bring you guys the new C-Class. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you do have any questions or anything like that, make sure you reach out to us. I'm Ty, the RV guy. Of course, this is Big Mitch P. We're both at Rangeland RV. And check out our website at rangelandrv.com. We carry the extensive lineup of the Sierra uh, product. Um, yes. Other than that, yeah. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Happy camping. Mm -hmm.